What's up, everybody? I'm Lockout. Today, we're going to be talking about the best settings for your C920. How can you make it look like this? How come it's stuttering? Why is it so bright? Why do I look orange? How come I look yellow? What the hell is going on? It looks like I got lag. Yeah, the C920 is 1080, 30 FPS. Out of the box, it's terrible. Uh, do I regret the purchase? Not exactly, but for a couple bucks more, I could have got the Brio and it would have been a lot better 60 FPS camera to go with my 60 FPS stream. So should you buy the camera? If you have a choice between this and the Brio or the C922, now when you pick up the C922, make sure it's the version that supports 60 FPS because right now what you get is a little bit of blurring because this is only 30. This is the best stable frame rate that you can get. If you guys want to see what this is, stay tuned, baby. Guys, jumping right into it. This is my Streamlabs, me. Uh, for my C920 right here, I do have it unlocked so that I can move it around right now. That's uh, um, a source that's just put into it. So in order to be able to find this, the first thing you want to do is go to your video capture device, go to your uh, ad source, C920. I have two cameras. I got a 270 and a 920. My 270 sits in the back. It is this camera right here. Hello, everybody. How are you doing back there? Uh, and then I have the 920, which is right here. So that you get a front and a, a rear view of me. A lot of people have cameras that shoot right down onto their mouse pad to show how awesome they are with their mouse. I show how awesome everything that I got is. That's why I got the camera sitting in the back, Jack. Anyways, we're talking about the 920. For the 920, what you want to do is go into your Logitech G Hub. The very first thing you want to do is click on your G Hub. And then you want to click on the little settings button right here. And then you want to click on disable this device in G Hub to allow other software to have full control. That way, your Streamlabs controls your camera and not using your g-hub settings and then trying to put settings on top of that and then you're creating more lag and latency because you've got too many programs trying to tell one little tiny camera what to do just a little usb camera we got to work with it so one program one access at a time Mwah. now what you want to do to instantly fix this camera's lag problem all right go to your properties right click on it Go to properties, bring up your properties. This is what you get right here. Go to um, custom video. Now you're gonna make it smaller because it is gonna go over into here, but I'm gonna tell you this, if you edit video, trying to compress different codecs, 720, 900, back into 1080 and up, you're trying to, and you're trying to put more definition into a less definition video and it's harder on your CPU to render that out. So it takes more time in the end. I am running a Ryzen 7 1700 oh, overclocked uh, four gigahertz. It's right now I'm running at 3990 stable, right? For my everyday overclock. And you know, I put out 20 minute videos. It takes me between eight and 12 minutes to rendering them, depending on how many effects that I have that's, you know, for my fast paced moving games. Something like this, it's not gonna take me too long to render because it's just gonna be a simple 60 FPS video with a 30 FPS camera. You understand? Get it, got it, good. So I do run the camera at 1080, all right? I do have it set at match output FPS. What this does is your camera and your game is running at 60 that's in here. Your camera's running at 30. Every two frames, your camera's running one frame. It syncs them together. Uh, MJPEG is the video codec I'm running. Because I am running HD quality video, anything that's over 720, you want to run it in 709. Anything that's under 720 is a 480p or lower. Run it in 601 if you're streaming in under 720p. If you're streaming in under 720p, uh, yeah. So color range is full. Full and 709 go together. These two are in a marriage. Like 601 and partial is in a marriage together, okay? Uh, partial and 601 is for low def video. 601 and, or, I'm sorry, 709 and full are for your full color range you could see right now how vibrant my camera instantly popped up and got to okay from running 709 and changing my color space up right there um the next thing that you could do is once you set all this up 
deactivate and then reactivate your camera. It's going to take out stutter, lag, all that input stuff and other undesired vulnerables. Okay. Uh, see how she always goes to plus four. It always wants to load at a plus four. For some reason, whenever I load my, my stream labs, even though I do give the settings over to um, stream labs, put it at minus five. By putting this to minus five, your exposure rate right here, it instantly takes the lag out. And your sensor is not working so hard to capture all this light. So you're not lagging, okay? And then for my brightness, I have this depending on what you have for lighting that is with you, around you, or in your room. Get you a cheap little LED light, two of them. They're like 10 or 12 bucks from Walmart. And then get you some tissue paper, a napkin, or some wax paper, tape it to it, use it to act as a diffuser so that you don't have like a flashlight beam of light that is being shot at you and you're just right here and you're trying to game with this like spotlight on you and yeah trust me and if you're gaming with a green screen and you've got all these massive amount of lights i did that for a long time and i'm not a fan i i would game for four five six seven eight hours on a green screen man i would go close my eyes at night they would be so sore from the lights so diffusing the light that's on you, spreading it off, giving yourself a more natural skin tone, that's kind of where you want to be. So setting your exposure to minus five takes the lag out of the camera. Your brightness, I have this at 153. My contrast, this is where you're going to start getting dark tones and, and off tones into your skin. You really want your white balance, which is the last thing that we need to talk about, which is really the most important thing. Uncheck this and set this to where you start getting your natural skin tones. Um, this is as you're gaming and you're getting flashes of light that's on you and stuff, you're going to be changing colors and you don't want the camera to automatically be reacting to what's happening from your monitor to be on you. You want the most consistent picture that you could shoot at all times. So set your white balance according to your skin tone. Everything that's been behind you will fall into place to your natural look that's in you. 60 hertz, make sure you have that set there. Now, noise that's, with the, that's within the camera, turning the exposure rate down removes a lot of the noise and it decreases the lag, but you're gonna get noise from the brightness that's in the video. This is where you get your noise from. So as you turn your video up, you can see how much noise is actually in the video right there. Turning this down to where you have the least amount of noise, but yet you're still able to resemble the blacks and the grays from each other is where you're kind of aiming for for your video quality for this. So setting your white balance accordingly and then setting your brightness accordingly. And you could even, you know, mess with your gain a little bit here because that's going to reduce the noise further or increase it further. It's in your video. So as you can see, we turn our games down and it starts to take the noise out, but then our grays and blacks start blending together. So these are my settings for my lighting that I have that, that's in my room. Adding some little bit of lights that's in behind you and a couple of lights that are in front of you makes the C920 react better and show off a better image quality. Um, these are my settings. This is what I find works best for me. Hopefully it's a little bit of uh, information for you. If you guys learned anything from this or if it helped you out, please like, subscribe, click the little bells and links and all that good stuff that's around here. Help a fellow out. I'm Lockouts. Peace.